Images and media are an essential part of the Web 2.0 landscape. It's basically what separates us from GeoCities, AngelFire, and those other old HTML graveyards that really emphasize the GIF file and the HTML wall of text. Anyways, um, in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about how to embed images and videos into your blog. I'm Aaron Trammell. I'm an assistant instructor and PhD candidate at the Rutgers University School of Information and Communication. Please join me for this video tutorial on how to use WordPress. So you just made a blog post and you're looking for a way to add a little more flair to it. Kind of jazz it up a bit. Well, the best way to do that is to add an image. Images are a great way to link your blog to other blogs on the internet and to also add a little more color to your page. Another option is adding videos. Videos are a great way to keep readers engaged and active with the material you're presenting. It takes blogs from more of a traditional medium format, like a book, to something more interactive, more a format all of its own. Let's look closer at how to put images and videos into your blog. So there will come a time when a post like the one we just made, uh, no blog is complete without a first post, is too boring. You want to add some things to it maybe a song, maybe a video, um, maybe a picture. So I'm going to show you how to do a video and a picture. I'm going to do another post to show you how to embed audio specifically into WordPress. But this is about videos and pictures right now. So anyways, hopping into here, uh, let's do a new post. Posts, add new right here. And I'm going to add a video. And I'm going to make it a video of 99 Red Balloons because I like that song. So I'll go to open a new tab. And let's go to YouTube. Broadcast yourself. Wait a second for YouTube to load up here. And then if I go here and I type in 99 Red. My computer is being a little laggy right now. Balloons. You can get the Goldfinger version. If you're into ska or pop punk, search it up. Here we go. Here's the English version. 99 Red Balloons. Recommended. Um, so we'll click on that, and we'll get the YouTube video link right here. And I can hit stop. And then I'm gonna highlight the the web address and copy it. Copy. Then go back to my blog where I'm doing the post. Make my title 99 red balloons. Nice balloons. Like ballons. Who knows? Um, anyway, so coming to 99 red balloons. Uh, that's what they wrote. That's why I'm just imitating it. Uh, and go to add media. And this is how you add video. So you hit that going to come up with this handy dandy little box to add media and you can just go to from URL and you can choose a URL for an image which I'll show you in a second or an audio video or other file let's go to audio video click that little ticker and paste in our URL then we just hit insert into post and this code will come up which basically tells WordPress to read this as a video make sure you add your tags blog posts and maybe some categories, song, music, video, uh, Nina, <laughs> add those tags to it, um, and then we'll publish this. And of course you have published two posts, yeah, yeah, we got it. Go back to the dashboard here, and I will navigate to the actual blog over here in pinwheel of death and if I refresh the page the 99 red balloons is the post that comes up and if I scroll down far enough you'll see those new tags I put in the cloud have came up too. And then if I just want to check out the video I posted,
Now, as much as I'd love to sit around and watch 99 Red Balloons all day on the internet, and believe me, I've done that before, um, I think it should teach you how to add images to your blog, too. So I'm going to add an image to the blog right above the video of 99 Red Balloons that I just embedded. Let's see how that's done. So, um, balloons is definitely misspelled here. Uh, and I'm going to add a picture to this post. So, we'll straighten out the problems. Going back to the dashboard of the blog, you can go to posts, all posts, and edit. And so, immediately I can add the other O in balloons. I can also do a Google search for 99 red balloons um, search uh, and we'll do an images search and basically after I get this in order to get around copyright problems oh this is a cool comic let's go with this um, I can go to full size image and take the web address from this and link to the image and linking to images is important because it basically creates cross traffic to your site. So just the way we did the video, I can click on that media tool and go from URL and punch in the image URL right there. And then of course, uh, add a caption that attributes the author borrowed from deviant art. And you can see, I think the user left their name here. Yep, Southwest. Uh, Southwest. And then you can justify the image. And link image to uh, sends the, the thing back to image if you hit link to image. And that creates cross traffic between their site and our site. Meaning that if people click on the, the image of balloons, they'll be taken to the DeviantArt site this user will then see that cross traffic and maybe check out your blog. It's an important way to kind of link your blog into the infrastructure of the internet. Insert into post, and now um, we've got that with the caption borrowed from DeviantArt. Looks a little bit big, so I can click on it and scale it down with this edit image tool, take it down to 60% of its old size to update it, shrink it a little. Now I can update the post. The little wheel spin round and round, and of course, come back over here and reset. And here's the image, and here's the video. And if I click on the image, it'll take me to the DeviantArt site. And that's linking images and videos. So that's how you embed video and images to your blog. Please join me next time where I'll show you how to embed audio into your WordPress from a third-party site like Dropbox so that you don't have to pay for that expensive WordPress space. Until then, I'm Aaron Trammell.